Here we have two examples of graphing circles. Uh, the first one is x squared plus y squared equals 25. And the general form for a circle is this, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Right, so you can usually look right at whatever number's out here, take the square root of it, and it gives you the radius. So there's five for the radius. Don't worry about the plus or minus in this case. Just take the straight up square root, and that gives us the radius. Okay, radius. Okay, so let's see. And this is, when it's, when it's just x and y like this, this is centered at zero, zero. Centered at the origin, so to speak. So there's our center at the origin, which isn't really part of the circle. And then I'll go five to the right, five up, five to the left, and five down. And then we can connect all of these to get a rough idea of what the circle looks like. Right, just kind of go through all the points. We already know it's a circle and complete it like that. Okay, there we go, a little off, but you get the idea. Okay, right, so for b, x squared plus y squared equals one. So we take the square root of the one to get the radius, it's still one. So our radius is one, so it's a very small circle. That's okay, the first one was pretty big. All right, so we still have our center at the origin, zero, zero, and then we just go right one, up one, left one, down one, and it makes an itty bitty circle like so, something like that. Okay. Now, even though I went right, up, left, down to get those, you could take the radius anywhere, and this would be five. So, for instance, over here, this would be five. Um, way down here, it's going to be five. It doesn't matter where you take it, right? Something like weird over here, that's five. Same thing with this. Anywhere we go in here, it's one, radius of one. So it's just easiest to measure out when you have the, the grid marks there, but technically it's, it's a distance of one, or whatever the radius is, it's that distance from the origin at the entire circumference of the circle.